on this week's episode we talk about my spy eternal city new movie on amazon prime and other pop culture news from the week so we saw the new movie uh, uh, on, on prime uh, amazon prime video uh, it's called my spy it's actually a sequel uh, is my 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 spy eternal city mm-hmm. is a sequel to a movie my spy with Dave Bautista uh, Kim Chong uh, what's the name of the girl I have no memory of this uh, Tina how's that working oh, oh, oh no she's not Tina she's Louise, Louise. Kristen Shaw Kristen Shaw yeah uh, oh I thought you were talking big, about the the big kid dude from the, the office Daryl Craig Craig Craig, Craig Rob, Robinson Robinson there it is Oof. Uh, Smallish Bong, is that his name? Smallish Bong, the Smallish? comedian that this is tough. He's a bad guy. Oh, Flula Borg. Flula Borg. Yeah. Yes. He's the cousin of Smallish Bong. Oh, is he? Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, and, and I'm not familiar with the family tree. Uh, yeah. It, it, it was it was fun. It was cute. It was mm-hmm. fun. You saw it the girls. Uh, mm-hmm. Streaming released for streaming. Mm-hmm. Uh, for a reason. I mean, mm-hmm. the first was for streaming. And this one, they repeated the formula. Uh, there's a trailer of a new Bautista movie. He's going to try to invest in this humorous uh, 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 side. What's that one called? It's, it's not the hitman. The, the killer. Uh, oh, shoot. Contract? The contract? Is that what called? Maybe. Sure. I don't uh, know. With him and... and um, uh, you know, for people who do a pop culture co- podcast, we are very bad at remembering. No, I, I, names. I know all these people's names. It's just because when I know I, what when you I, know. When, I, when, I, when I'm talking, yeah, you know, there's so many. So That's many what I'm saying. Things. We should be good at this. Yeah. Uh, also, also, I'm I'm sort of like sleepy for some weird reason. Oh, and mm. now I know where I'm sleeping. I took some medicine, mm. and it's like trying to make me sleep. Oh. But. Yeah, uh, jeez, gosh, just because I need to remember my name. <laughs> but she's, she, she was in Rebel Moon. Uh, yes. Kind of mm-hmm, she's mm-hmm. there, and, and so many other good things, good, good, good people. So, yeah. uh, uh, there's a, there's a, so he's trying to do this, this humor, hum, mm-hmm. humor, humoristic side, this, this funny. Comedic side. Uh, in fact, actually, I saw there was a, a meme going around, like, people were worried about him being sick because he's really cut back on his on his workouts and so some people were like oh my gosh is he sick I'm like no no he's just looking like a normal human now and not like super giant human like anyway oh he's looking that bad no he doesn't look bad he's just like like more normal size because he's cut back on the workouts that have made him like wwe huge in part, so he can like explore more acting. Well, our our thoughts and prayers for David Bautista. That he's is, fine. He's looking. You said he's looking like a normal human being. It's it's sad. Okay. Uh uh. So, yeah. Let's let's wish and hope that I didn't press rec. Did you press rec on yours? I did. Okay. Because you I'll, told me to. It's fine. Yeah, I, 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 it's it's fine. If you now listen, if you didn't hear me for the last. Uh, five or ten minutes. Mm-hmm. It's fine. I'm here. Okay. Now. But anyways, uh, so the, on this one, he's he's like a father, uh, of mm-hmm. the daughter from the first movie, mm-hmm. and they go to Italy for a choir presentation, mm-hmm. and there's like spies and bad guys involved. He's CIA. It was it was fun. It was okay. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It delivered exactly what it was supposed to. Right? He's it's CIA. There's like the tension between like stepdad, stepdaughter, um, transition from like kid into teenager, liking boys. A lot of the stuff that we've seen before, but is always like relatable and funny. And um, it's of course set in different parts of Italy, um, leading up to the Vatican. Of course, right? My spy, Eternal City. We end up at the Vatican, um, where everything kind of climaxes. Um, it was it was very fun. There it was we laughed a lot. Our girls enjoyed it. Um, so it wasn't like earth shattering, super original, but it was a fun. It is PG thirteen. Um, 
But, like, our girls watched it, and it was fine. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. If you're into that sort of thing, check it out. Kids getting roped into massive international spy plots for no good reason other than our own entertainment. It was yeah. enjoyable. Amazon Prime mm-hmm. Video, My Spy Eternal CD is available. Uh, if you saw the first one, you like you should see the second one. But yeah. it has some good, good fun moments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's stay in Rome for a second with a trailer for Gladiator Two. Yes, the sequel that uh, for some reason is happening. Yeah. Uh, starring Paul Mescal, mm-hmm. uh, directed by Ridley Scott. So yeah, that's a good, a good hand of the the master. So let's see what happens. And it does have some some good visuals, but let's see if it mm-hmm. if it holds up for. The, uh, compared to the first one, the first one is spectacular. Yeah, that's a pretty tough one to follow up. Yeah, um, yeah I don't know, but it's it's a great setting and it's a time period that's just like full of good stories to tell, and so it could be good. We'll find out. I'm happy to, I'm happy to see it. And we'll, anyway, um, let's talk Marvel for a minute. Apparently, Robert Downey Jr. is earning significantly more. Than eighty million dollars to play Doctor Doom. Yeah, that's weird because more than eighty million is already a lot, significantly more. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, but it makes sense. He would, he's, he, they, they, they would have to pay because the deals they cut with these people. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe not with Robert Downey Jr., but with everybody else. Like Captain America signed for what, five movies when he signed on the first movie. Thor signed for four movies when he signed the first one. That's right. And before the first one, he was basically nobody. Mm-hmm. Or he didn't have the cachet he had after the movies made a billion dollars. So right. So they did that to everybody. Now they invite someone back. Robert Dungeon is like, hmm, now you're on my table. How the tables yeah. have turned. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, so, yeah. And I guess, like some some, murky from mouth said, he's gonna play this until he dies, and they're gonna have to pay this until he dies. Yep, yep, yep. Um, well, he's not the only one making a whole bunch of movie to take on a questionable role with Marvel. Harrison Ford said that. Well, what did he say about being in Captain America Four? Oh, he's being an idiot for money, which, yeah, yeah. Honestly, like, it's not a terrible gig. I don't blame them for doing it, and I suspect it was a lot of fun. Um, I've, I've seen a few movies like that. We're like, oh, this wasn't the greatest movie, but gosh darn it, I bet these boys had a good time. And that's fine. Yeah. Um, Kevin Feige is um, kissing a lot of things goodbye, including Eternals 2. Yeah, forget about Eternals. Mm-hmm. It's not going to happen. Even though in the Captain America uh, uh, 4, uh, there's like, Hints that they're gonna use some of that on the story, and they might even connect that to the X Men, but mm. Eternals done. Okay. Um, also, Captain Marvel. Oh, Captain Marvel! This, the, the the Marvels sucked so bad. It was mm-hmm. so terrible. There's a, this influ- the the comic book market industry is not in the best days. If anything, is in the mm. worst days. Uh, but Marvel's drag the good name of the Captain Marvel, the book comic book character, uh, to to the ground that the Captain Marvel comic book is now cancelled. Jeez. Yeah. That's rough. That's yeah. really rough. Yeah. An adaptation so bad it takes down the source material. Yeah. Oh man. All right. Well, let's go through some upcoming projects. Something's coming up. Some things that have gotten canceled. Let's just go through it. Severance. Is this the one with Adam Scott? Yes. Okay. It gets season two, um, a winter premiere over at Apple TV+. Plus. Mm-hmm. Devil Wears Prada sequel is a work, uh, is in the works at Disney. Mm-hmm. Um, Sean Levy's Star Wars movie um, is getting a writer, Jonathan Tropper, who we so- might... Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just say we might know him from the Adam Project, which was a very fun movie. Yeah, uh, Sean Levi. Uh, he said that uh, he said recently that he's he's on the top of his game, right? He just directed mm-hmm. Deadpool and Wolverine. 
uh, and he said that his Star Wars movie will not be uh, a bridge for uh, for next movie. It will not be, you know, it's not it's not like a a trailer, just mm -hmm. like we talked about uh, 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 Marvel movies uh, other day on how sometimes they are so so bad that it's not yeah. that movie about the movie that that comes. So he yeah. was was clear that he wants to make a product that it's, it stands by itself. It's mm -hmm. in the Star Wars universe, but it's not, you know, uh, connecting dots because that's not needed all the time, most of the time. Correct. Cool. So I'm optimistic about that. That feels like good news. Um, Universal says that um, Minions 3 is going to be coming in 2027. Okay. And Shrek 5, that's right, folks, Shrek 5 is going to be coming from DreamWorks in summer of 2026. Okay, we'll see about that. Yeah. Joe Rogan uh, released his first special uh, comedy uh, in six years on Netflix. It was live. Now it's, av av now it's available for everybody to watch. Okay. Evil Dead is doing an animated series, and they have announced Bruce Campbell to be Ash Williams. As they should. John Wick's sequel, and this is like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I think I saw the last one, and how's he going to really do that? It really felt so over. Yeah. Well, the, it's in the works at Lionsgate uh, Television. The, proge the project mm -hmm. is titled John Wick Under the High Table. Yep. It will take place after the events of John Week 4, which, how? Uh -huh. We'll see. I mean, they I have mean, yet to let us down. Yeah. Um, Battlestar Galactica, or Peacock was going to do a Battlestar Galactica reboot. It is not moving forward. Yes. Which is fine, because they already did one. But Squid Game mm -hmm. is, season 2 is coming soon, yep. and season 3 will come in 2025. And that one is going to be the end. Season two, season two is coming. Uh, I think it's December twenty fifth this year. Oh my! Christmas. Okay. With the squids. Yay. Um, yeah, this is I. I like it. It's always nice for shows when they know when they're going to end because now the writers can do something like they know what they're working with. They're not going to cut up, get cut off like Firefly. They can like write a nice cogent storyline. So. Hopefully that works out well for them. Uh, John M. Chu is going to direct an adaptation of Britney Spears' memoir, The Woman and Me. So get ready for that biopic. She does have final decision on the on the cast. Oh, good. And there's already not names being uh, 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 speculated. Mm -hmm. uh, Sydney Sweeney is one uh, that is being like okay. talked. Sure, sure. Can she sing? I don't know. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Apple has renewed Presumed Innocent. That sounds really good. We still have to catch that one up. Mm -hmm. um, they also renewed Loot. That's the one starring Maya Rudolph. Um, there is wide, rampant speculation, hope, rumor that Maya Rudolph is is getting kind of getting a job back at SNL or at least like a long-term gig with Kamala Harris becoming the presumptive Democratic nominee oh yeah for president um, uh, yeah. If, if if that gets us more my Rudolph content that that's an awfully big consolation prize yeah. for yeah. the state of our nation's elections at, at the least moment. In, at least into November she she will do that Mm -hmm. uh, who's not go do doing it is uh, Steve Martin that was invited to to be uh, Kamala Walls. Harris' uh, uh, vice president uh -huh. running mate yeah but he said nah oh well we can't have everything but we can't have Maya Rudolph and that's pretty great okay Paramount Plus has cancelled Halo uh, the after only two seasons which is not surprised everybody hated like literally everybody hated I have hated. never heard a good thing yeah. I don't think I've even heard a thing about it yeah no everybody hated and, yeah. and uh, uh, they, they went to like to, to, to blasphemy to the point that like uh, the war chief took his mask off like all the time 
which is like what the heck you guys doing it's like when you bring people that know, know nothing about source material again mm-hmm. works through activists that was like oh but I, you know what would be good it's like no don't 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 say it so yeah it's like the game is really good but you know what the modern modern audiences mm-hmm. what no 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 go go find find a job uh i don't know selling ice cream anyways yeah. okay um dexter resurrection is gonna be starring michael c hall and paramount plus with showtime has ordered the series yeah we'll see that uh, we like mm-hmm. dexter like michael michael c hall mm-hmm. let's see what they come up with next yeah we will every time we say michael c hall i keep thinking of anthony michael hall the star of john hughes movies yeah this is a different guy but his name sounds uh, kind uh, of the same what's the one they make a woman that was funny oh true weird science weird science yeah and many others yeah breakfast club breakfast club he's the nerd iconic um, all right, what is happening with the boys? Uh, it's getting a premiere. It's called Vought Rising. And, of course, Jensen Eccles, e- mm-hmm. Eccles and Aya Cash will come back for, you know, Soldier Boy. And mm-hmm. Thunder... What's, what's, the, what's the color? I don't remember. Warfront? Uh, Stormfront. Stormfront, yeah. The Nazi. That sounds right. Uh, okay. Ah, fun stuff. Fun, dark, twisted stuff. All right, and last but not least, Tim Allen is back at it with another comedy series called Shifting Gears. Yeah, it's coming to ABC with Michael Scully and Julie Tacker uh, that, that, that created the series, but they will leave. Mm. Uh, also on the show, Cat Dennings. Who is that? He's half, she's the known blonde half of two broke girls. She's also on the MCU. Yes. As the Kat, intern. I can't remember my name. Yeah. Pat, Pam, Jen, I don't know. Dan, Lamb. She's the intern. Lamp. I love Lamp. <laughs> on that note, we yeah. end uh, uh, this episode. Uh, mm-hmm. We come back next week with more pop culture news, entertainment. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Bye. <laughs>